hi guys welcome back to another video today's video we have a very ollie girl friendly foundation that i forgot about so if you want to see what i'm talking about make sure you keep on watching but first if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button so you're notified every time i post new videos because i post daily and i promise you do not want to miss it and i'm out of here peace out bye y'all hi guys welcome back to another video we're going to start by priming the face with my one size secure the blur and my absolute new york poreless me i wore this foundation yesterday so you're going to see two videos back to back of me with this foundation on but i was so impressed with how this wore throughout the day and i'm quite sure i already have a, a foundation review on my channel if you're new here and you're ever wondering if i reviewed a certain type of foundation just go to my foundation playlist on my channel and you'll see all the foundations that i ever did wear test talked about and all of that but today we're going to do an updated one on this one because when i say i was so impressed like i was looking in the mirror while at work no oils, no creasing, no cracking. How I put it on that morning was how it looked until I washed it off. So let's go ahead and prime the face. You know, I always like to come back where the old rather new foundation. I like to talk about makeup and especially tell you guys what worked because I know some of y'all have all the combo skin like me. And so we have to find stuff that really work <laughs> i'm pulling that in real good and i usually now for my smile lines i'm just taking the primer and kind of like just kind of pushing it into my smile line area where before i used to use a paint pot but not no more so yesterday i did color correct and i color correct with the benefits number 13 cakeless concealer looks like a little pencil i got this like last year when ulta had 21 days of beauty so yeah so we're gonna color correct just by my eye area where i have some darkness and mouth area i like this like i stated because it has a little orange to it it's orange and brown you might as well say and i like that Take a little tiny brush. Hopefully, got this on it. I'm gonna wipe it off just in case. <laughs> but y'all know me. Yeah, this is the perfect uh, color corrector concealer for me. So I would definitely repurchase this. I never picked it up. Like I purchased it because I thought that it was gonna be my foundation shade, and when it didn't work as my foundation shade, I kind of just. Put it to the side but now that i know it's an excellent color corrector oh yes i will repurchase this see how that kind of helped the darkness and i mainly got the darkness like around my mouth under my eye who knows? So the foundation I am talking about is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in WN114 Golden. When I say this was beautiful all day yesterday, all day yesterday. So I'm going to give you a little brief little facts about it right quick. Like this foundation is $40 at Ulta. It comes in 40 shades. And like I said, I have golden key points it is good for dry combination combination only only so this is a perfect excuse me this is a perfect foundation for combination only skin or just all the skin no wonder i never even read the description to see that's why it looks so good okay it's full coverage it has a natural finish lightweight moisturizing foundation and concealer makeup covers throughout without clogging pores skin breathes comfortably color stays true even through sweat and humidity due to the rich pigment level that enhances the flawless coverage makeup shades may appear deeper when first applied okay once blended completely and completely and allowed to dry beyond perfecting makeup will melt into your skin for a beyond 
perfect flawless look a little goes a long way okay and i love the fact that it comes with an applicator versus a pump versus a little squeezy tube you know you kind of have control over these type of applications let me go back to the monitor screen okay now just apply i don't get where it says that it's darker when applied because it looks good to me All right, let's get the blender and pounce it in, stipple it in, try not to swipe. I see that coverage. It looked good yesterday morning when I put it on, but you know, everything always looks good when you first apply it. But by the four hour mark, the six hour mark, the 10 hour mark, the 12 hour mark, I'm like, okay, Clinique. Clinique has always been one of my go-to type brands, like always. Always. So I'm gonna let that sit for a minute while I put on my lashes. Y'all know I like to let things sit, marinate, make up the mind what they wanna do, really get in there, and then we'll come back and do concealer. Okay, let's take our Elf Deep Olive. I'm using the same thing I used yesterday. And when I come back, I need y'all to see how it looked yesterday. <laughs> and lately I haven't been cream contouring. I've just been using my powder, my Juvia's Place, the dark powder. Well, deep dark powder to contour with so yeah that's how it looks I see Juvia's Place is coming out with some um, loose powders y'all they have all kind of shades from the cherry to the banana to the very light the very deep it's like okay Juvia's Let's blend this out. I set the concealer with my Sasha Buttercup and I set my all over face with my RCMA No Color Powder. Let's go ahead and do that. Push it in. Because we don't bake over here. Okay, now the no color powder.
I'm quite sure that this, I'm, one day I'm going to come back and we're going to do it without setting because I feel like you really don't have to set it. But this is what I did yesterday. And kind of let that sit before I dust anything off. And we'll be back so I can show you the completed look. All right, guys, I made it back. This is the completed look. We're going to dust any excess powder and then spray our face with the NYX Bear With Me and the NYX Marshmallow mixed together. Let that dry after I done soaked it. Alright, I'm going to wear this throughout the workday. And then I'll come back and we'll see how it's looking. But right now, as you can see, very skin-like, very natural. No oils are coming through. It's not overly uh, dewy, over, overly radiant. I think it looks amazing. So we'll see at the end of the workday. Peace out. All right, guys, it has been a little over 13 hours, and this is how my face is looking using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in the shade WN Golden. And as you can see, I wouldn't say that I am oily or greasy. I just have a little sheen from not blotting all day. And today it was kind of hot because it was 90 degrees. So let's go ahead and blot a little bit. My face still feels lightweight. I don't feel like anything is on my skin as far as like heavy makeup or anything. So look, I just lightly just ran my foundation brush from this morning over my skin and we're back to normal. I like this foundation because it's for oily or combination skin, but it's not matte. It's a natural foundation so that goes to say that just because you have all the combo skin it doesn't mean that you have to use a matte foundation all the time because that's a natural foundation and I absolutely love it so this has gone up some notches it's probably right now it's in my top five <laughs> since I rediscovered it my eyebrows see underneath my eyebrows be getting so no hmm. yeah Yep, that's it. That's how we looking. I'm that type of person that your mama send you to work one way and you come back like you going to school. Your mama send you to school one way and then you come back looking like this at the end of the day. That's me. <laughs> hair all that. Why is my hair looking like it been blowing in the wind? <laughs> but y'all, this is how the skin is looking and I absolutely love this foundation. I'm going to remember to drop a link just in case you want to purchase it using my link in the description box. If I don't, just say, Nana, drop the link and stop playing. <laughs> just, just tell me that and I know what you mean. All right, if you enjoyed today's video, give this video a thumbs up because it helps my channel out a whole lot. And I'm done for the day. Peace out. Bye, y'all. So random. Y'all see my parts? My cousin did that, y'all. Y'all see him? Hold on. Let me get in focus. Am I focused? No, hold on. Alright. Mm-hmm. Okay now.